You can now attach files directly to tasks within your calendar on Assemble. As you can see, we're working on this commercial project here, and we've created a basic folder structure and began to add files such as this creative brief and a bookmark to some brand assets. But let's go ahead and jump into the calendar next. Within this calendar, we've built out all of the tasks and assignees needed to bring this project to life. But let's go ahead and jump into this first task. And what you'll notice now is that at the top, we now have the ability to attach a file to this task. So let's go ahead and attach that creative brief we were working on and then go ahead and add the brand assets as well. What you'll notice is that you can add any sorts of files as task attachments. This includes assets, documents, bookmarks, and more. You're also gonna notice that collaboration is extremely easy from the task interface. We can simply open up any file that's been attached. It's gonna jump us directly into that file where we can collaborate in any way we want. Let's go ahead and leave a comment here. I can change the status or do anything else I need to within this task and then hit back and it's going to jump me directly back. This gives you a new starting point for your collaboration with your team throughout the project. Next, let's go ahead and jump into the casting task. I'm going to go attach attachments here and we're going to go ahead and add some submissions we have for one of the roles as well as the talent release form that we'll be using for these actors. Go ahead and click save and as you can see, those have now been added to this file as well. Next, let's say we want to share this calendar and collaborate with people outside of our direct team. Just like anything within Assemble, you can share your calendar as an external review link, meaning that external users can view and collaborate with you without needing to sign up or log into an account. All file task attachments will be included on these public review links of calendars. So let's go ahead and share this calendar link. I'm just going to come in here, update the settings, and create a brand new link. Next, I'll copy paste that link or just send it via email to anybody that I want to see it. When an external user clicks that link, they'll be able to jump into that calendar directly with no sign up or login required. They can see a view only version of this calendar, but they can also open the tasks and see all of the task attachments. Clicking on a task will open it up, enabling them to have a view only experience for all those files and to be looped in on everything that's happening within the project giving you almost unlimited collaboration with external users outside of your team's workspace. Let's go ahead and wrap up by returning to the logged in view. Now that we're in the edit phase, we'll go ahead and attach some of the work in progress files so that everybody can leave their feedback. Let's attach the commercial as well as the photo shoot. Great, those assets have now been attached. By adding file attachments directly to the task, it enables you to organize your projects in time. Meaning that if you want to find a specific file, you can simply look on the calendar at where that file will be occurring in the timeline. In this case, we want to see how the edit's going. So we simply go to the edit V1 and we can very quickly jump into the actual video assets that our team is working on directly from that task interface. We hope this new feature enables you to organize all of your files in a more chronological fashion and collaborate faster and better with your team.